and watch your Scrapple TV. It's about the haircut, but it's more about friendships and being good to people. I always said that the main thing is when you first open up a shop is you have to be good to everybody. Anyone who walks through that door, they're important. My name's Joe Salome from a third generation barber. We had my grandfather, my father, myself, my son Mark works here with us. We've been here now 23 years on Gerard and Marlboro Street, 300 block east of Gerard Avenue in Fishtown. It's a business that I was brought up in that I feel very comfortable in, that I knew when I was young, this is what I was gonna do for my career, and I never feel like I'm coming to work. But every day that I'm working, it feels like I'm just talking with some friends enjoying myself and just doing what I like to do. I have guys that I used to do their grandfathers and then I wind up doing their fathers and then I do their sons and now their sons are bringing their sons in. We have people coming in from priests to hipsters, politicians, just a really good cross-section of, of people coming in here. And I think that's the main thing that I'm proud of with the shop is the fact that anybody can come in here and you feel good coming in here. This is just a nice badger brush um, that I use. It, it allows hair to soften up a little bit so you get a cleaner shave. And I think that's what everyone likes the most is really pretty much the hot towels. And then we give a little facial at the end and, and they enjoy that. We get a lot of guys come on a weekly basis and get a shave and I think that it's just their minute to relax. I think from being here so long and you do so many people that I, I could walk down the street and every place I go to my wife will say, you know, what's taking you so long? And I, and I meet so many people that I know from the shop that I wind up, 10 minute walk turns into an hour or two walk because I have so many friends in the area here. My name's Mark, I'm a barber at Salome's. Conversations here are pretty wild. You get people come in just complaining about parking the entire time or got the people coming in with their heads down just because you automatically know that they were watching the Phillies last night. And then you got the people coming in, like hiding from their wives or hiding from their girlfriends, sitting down at the bar having a drink and just get up and just decide they want a haircut at that moment. Because the main thing is when you do a haircut and shave, you don't want any hair left on the customer. So when they leave, they should be clean. There's nothing else to do. What else would you do besides this? this that's why barbers never retire, because it's a job that it's not really a job. Most barbers, you know, go until the, uh, till the very end. And that's what I want to do. I'll never retire. All right, handsome.